American Rascals out of a dual ascot winner, Lady Aurelia. And, um, you know, he's by Curlin, who's a champion sire here in America, known more for distance horses, but uh, this guy kind of looks like a quarter horse. He looks a very speedy type. And he burst out on the scene here at Keeneland and just ran brilliantly. And he just flew home. So that's kind of what you want to see in a horse that you've got to go to Ascot with to where you're taking on Europe's best. It's very special to have a, a filly of that quality. You know, she's one of the best sprinters, as I've read, to, to run in Europe. And now to actually bring her, her first foal back over, it's just fantastic. Lady Aurelia and John Velasco, oh, she's one by two or three in great style. She'll be going to the King Stand, and you know, she's a filly. So, um, but we've won it with Lady Aurelia with a filly, and she's doing really, really good. She's sort of developed really nice and put on uh, some size and some weight and substance to her. She's very strong right now, and she ran a, a really nice race here in her comeback effort. Twilight gleaming down to the line for Irad Ortiz Jr. Twilight gleaming to get it. Twilight gleaming is like a teddy bear. This one here is a little attitude. Love Reigns has a pedigree to go a little bit further, so we're going to be looking at the Commonwealth probably for her, which is six furlongs, and six furlongs as Ascot is a long ways, especially for a trainer like me. <laughs> Love Reigns is running late as well. Love Reigns up the inside. It's a long ways home if you get beat, you know, and initially when I first went over, it was so great, you know, but, you know, as years went on, I knew how lucky I was in that uh, everything really has to come together for you to win. Um, I like to kind of center it down to where I bring the best of what I have. And essentially, those would be the best in America as far as uh, younger juveniles. And a lot of the owners will want to go. And I tell them, look, you know, it's, it's, we've already been through there where we're going to have an outing and a day and a run. But it's just, it's no fun when you run 7th or 17th.